Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today is hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness in which we'll have our drawing at the end of the video. But first let's have our shout out to Liberty Lost, Alina, Laura, <coughs> Sharon, Panther, Lori, Sherry, and Janice. I appreciate each and every one of you. Set this aside. We'll have a drawing at the end. So I have some beautiful papers here. These are chapter one papers. This one I printed on co copy paper, copy white paper. And I have, well, I thought I coffee dyed the back. Hmm. That one got away from me today. I didn't get that one coffee dyed. I'm going to look to see if I printed two of these. This one right here I did coffee dye the back. This is cardstock. Let me look real, real quick to see if I have one of these that's coffee dyed on the back because that's probably going to make a little bit of a difference. I coffee dyed a lot of papers today, so let me check. All right, so I printed them both. I got one coffee dyed and I got one not coffee dyed. I missed one of them. So let's use the one that's coffee dyed because that's what I had planned. So these are both chapter one papers. We're going to make an envelope out of this one. This is the copy weight. This is the cardstock weight, okay? So let's first make us a envelope. Now what I think I'd like to do is make an envelope that is six by six. So I'm just going to make a little mark here, six, and then I'm going to make a little mark here, six by six. All right, I'm going to bring in my guillotine and let's first chop right here. Bring this in like this. Just give it a cut, like that, and then let's bring it in, turn it around, and cut it right here. Now let's check to make sure that this is six by six. Oh, well, that's a little over six, just a tiny bit over six. Okay, I think that's going to work. Now. If you have been with me for a little while, you know that I make my own envelopes. And so I go, of course you need all sides to be the same. And I go from corner to corner with a ruler and I make a little mark in the center like that. I turn it, I go from corner to corner and I make a little mark just like that. Now I decide what do I want to be for my flap? So I'm looking at this and maybe this one will be my flap. So that means I'm going to bring this one in like this. I'm going to bring this side in and the points are going to touch right in the intersection of my line. I'm going to turn this to the side. I like to put my points right here and right here on one of my grid marks. And then I like to bring this bottom one up about a half an inch. So let's just bring it up a half an inch, just like that. Give it a good crease. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn it around. I'm lining up my fold right here on a grid. And I'm going to fold this down about a fourth of an inch. Okay. And now we have what looks like an envelope. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to take this point right here and I'm going to pull it down to be about where it, um, just about a half an inch above where those points meet. I'm just folding it across and then I'm going to fold it back the other way. So now it's going to look more like an envelope. And I'm going to bring in my here it is, <laughs> my art glitter glue, and I'm just going to add a little bit of glue there, just so it's glued down. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to bring in my vintage photo ink, and I'm going to ink up my sponge, and I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to ink up all of my folds inside and outside of my envelope here. And then we'll continue. 
All right, I went ahead and I inked up the inside. You don't have to do that, but I wanted to show you where we're going to be taking the notches out. See these little pie shapes right here? That's what we're going to be removing. I'm also going to need to erase my little lightly x my light x my light x I guess that's what I was say my lines right there so I'm just going to notch out my corners as I tell you what is hashtag Kathy sewing happiness it's you helping me spread happiness through simple acts of kindness letting someone line of traffic because there's a line and you know how some people just won't let you in front I love that act of kindness when someone does it for me Letting someone in line at the grocery store because you have 20 items and they have two. Simple acts of kindness it doesn't have to cost you anything. We don't know what people are going through. But sometimes just simple acts of kindness will be just enough kindness from one person to another. Someone you don't even know. You don't even have to know them. Sometimes those are the best ones. Well, just give them enough to just keep going because that's what we need to do guys we need to just keep going don't give up just keep going so if you would like to enter into next week's Kathy sewing happiness drawing then simply tell me in the comment section of the most recent Kathy sewing happiness video your act of kindness towards another person if you choose not to tell us just type in spreading happiness and that will be your entry. Now if you enter into this week, you need to check back next Sunday to see if your name has been pulled out of the fishbowl. And what do you win if your name is pulled out of the fishbowl? You win happy mail from me to you as my way of paying it forward. And that's all there is to hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness. Now we have completed our envelope. It is an, it, gorgeous. So let's go ahead and let's complete our, actually let's go ahead and let's um, decorate it real quick. So I have a few things here. I'm going to pull in some things that I have. And I have some lace. I have this label. and That's going to be our closure right here. We're going to be able to tuck that right into the point of our flap. It's going to tuck right into this right here. And that's what's going to keep our envelope closed. So I'm just looking at it, I'm placing it on my grid to kind of get an idea of where I'm at as far as, um, you know, so I don't put it on crooked. And I'm just going to add glue on the very bottom. I don't want to put too much glue on the sides or you won't be able to get your little flap, your, your point of your flap in this as a tuck spot. We're just using it as a tuck. A tuck for your point of your envelope just like that alrighty that's super cute now I have a fussy cut here and actually I have two I didn't know which size would do best and I'm gonna have to see if I can figure out where on earth these came from and I will do my best and I will list what I've what I'm using down below I do believe this is a Tracy Fox label right here and I've already told you that the papers are from chapter one. So I kind of like the bigger one. And I'm just going to pop it right here as my decoration. I like that a lot. Now I have a little bit of lace right here. I'm actually going to lean over and grab my glue gun, which is heated and ready to go. I have little pieces of lace and I would like to use one. And I'm just going to make it a little shorter. I think this is too big. And just use it right here. I think this side will be fine. And I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue. Now I'm using hot glue because it's quick and easy for a video. And it's finished. It's all on there. I don't have to wait for it to be dry. And it's, it's ready to go. I have a little bit of bling. I'm going to put it right on top of my lace right here so just a little line of glue and pop it right on just like that now inside of my envelope i would like to add now this one is from my porch prints and this one is a shabby dabby doodah so i think i might like i'm not sure 
which one I want. I have no idea. I'm just going to put the Shabby Dabby Doodah inside of our envelope. I'm going to go ahead and shut our envelope using our little tuck spot. And then I'm going to move this out of the way and we'll bring in my next piece, which is a chapter one printed on cardstock. And I have coffee dye at the back. And I want to cut this one to be four and a half by six. So I'm just going to mark, line it up here. I'm just going to mark four and a half, just like that. And then I'm going to mark six. Let's see, I'm going to do it this way. Six, right here. All right, so I'm going to bring in my larger guillotine, not my super big one, but this one right here will be just fine. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give it a trim. So get this ready here. There we go. Move my extra pieces out of the way. And then <clears throat> let's see which way I like it. I like it this way, I think. And I'm going to round the corners. In my examples, I have two. I have sewn around the edge of my examples. You don't have to sew around the edge, so I know a lot of you don't have sewing machines. So we're not going to sew around the edge of this one, and you'll be able to see the difference between ones that have been sewn around the edge and then ones that one that has not been sewn around the edge. You can get some ideas there. So. I think I said I wanted it this way. Let's bring in our envelope back. Let's grab my pen, pen, pencil one more time. I'm going to need to see right here. I'm going to put a little dot. I'm going to bring in my ribbon punch. And I'm going to just notch that out right there where I marked it. All right, so now it's notched out nicely. And I'm going to set this right here right on this larger tag just like that and I'm going to get my glue and I'm going to glue around the edge just like this and I'm going to place it right on to my larger tag that we made and press it down so it grabs hold so now all we need to do is put a little ribbon right up here where we punched out our ribbon punch. This is approximately 12 inches. Oh, I think I wanted to make it um, open it up and see if I need to cut it. It's kind of wide, so I think I'd like to rip it. So I'm just going to cut it right in half. This is uh, um, <laughs> Sorry Silk from Crimson Heart Studios and I will um, list them down below. She has an Etsy shop and she sells very nice silk, uh, sorry, silk products. All right, so let's get this in here and let's just tie a little bow and just like that. Oh my goodness, that's so sweet, so very sweet. And then we have another little tag that will fit right down inside. So you have two pieces. Now you could either put this on a flip. You could set it into a belly band or a corner pocket or maybe even a larger pocket. You could even have it on a flip this way. You don't have to have it on a flip this way. You could do lots of things with this. You could send it out in Happy Mail. This is a nice flat piece that would be lovely to receive in Happy Mail. Let me show you one that I made here that I have <clears throat> sewn around the edge. And there's a butterfly in this one. And then you open it up the same way. And there's a little card inside. And it's made the exact same way. And it's just using different colors. And I have one more. Now I used uh, the same little rose on here, but it's totally different colors. And I really think these are great. I absolutely love them. Let's find out who has won Happy Mail this week in our drawing. So once again, if your name is pulled out of the fishbowl, you do need to check. Wait a second here. I can't see my 
screen. <laughs> you do need to check down below to see how you're going to get your address to me. Okay, it's down below. You have to click, it says more, and it pulls down, and it gives you all the instruction on how to enter and how you're going to get your address to me. All right, so who has one? Let's see. Open it up, Kathy. Lori Hansen. Lori, you have one happy mail from me to you as my way of paying it forward. If you have enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there guys. Bye now.